Hello, today I'm going to teach you about the game variants and game attributes in the StarCraft II editor. So first I'm just going to get some basic things to help me. So I'm going to place a point. You'll see why later. And I'm going to go to player properties and add a few players. I'll just make them users. Make four players for this. Okay. The rest doesn't matter for this for now. So now, how you access these things is you go to Map in the top left corner, and then you go down to Game Variants and Attributes. So I'm going to start with Game Variants. So in Game Variants, there's a few options. Um, I'm not going to use any of these. I'm going to add a new one. So you can pick from a few options. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do a trainer just for tutorial purposes. I'm going to say it's a build order trainer, because why not? And I'm going to say two people per team. That's what this does. So then you can go to game attributes. And here, you can change some things like privacy, so you can see who sees your game. Game speed, you can change the speed to faster, faster or slow. You can also change the time it takes for the lobby to load into the game. The default is 10. You can change it to 3 or 30 if you really want to. And then you can also lock the alliances if you don't want people to change alliances in your map. So that's what that does. Then you can go to player attributes and you can see these players that I added. And there's a few options. Um, some things you can do is like if you don't want your player to change their color, you can click on that player and check color, and now they won't be able to change the color. So you can do that for, that does it for all the players. And then you can also do the same thing for race or handicap. If you don't want them to see that in their lobby, it will make it go away. So what you can also do is when you click on a player, you can uh, change some of these things like their default color, and you can put them on a team. So like this has two teams right now. And so I'm going to say player 1 is going to be on team 2. And player 2 is going to be on team 1. Player 3 and player 4. Then what I can also do is lock them on the team so they can't switch. But So I'm going to have to do that for every player. If I want to do that. I could also do this and just lock the teams. You can also change these to uh, do the teams and game modes. And that's how the game variants work. So, now what do you have to do for uh, game attributes, which is next. You click on that, and the attributes has a few things you can do. So, first thing you want to do is you want to add a new one. This one is going to be a game type, and what game type things are like choices you would pick before you want to start the game if players want to say vote on difficulty they can vote on that before they get in the game through the lobby so I can say difficulty and uh, pick the difficulty I can make the description whatever I want so then you go to usage and uh, there's uh, availability which always means that anyone can p always pick it and it will never be locked. And first come, first serve means that uh, whoever picks it will get that option and then no one else can pick it. Then you can also do visibility to see who picks it and access to see who can click it. So I'm going to do all players can click it. And I'm going to keep these options uh, unchecked for now. So then you go to values and this is the actual thing you will click on. So let's say you want to make it easy. So you would type easy and say, pick the easy difficulty for the description, or something like that. So then you make another one, say something like medium, pick the medium difficulty. Then say one more, go to hard, pick the hard difficulty. 
So now you have an easy, medium, and hard choice. So now what you can do is you can make the default value for those things. So on difficulty, you can click the player, and you can say easy, and then they have to... Uh, the default will be easy, so something will be picked if they don't pick anything. So now, what you can also do is make another one. I'm going to name it a uh, unit. So say you want a player to have a unit at the start of the game. So just do a pick a unit, something like that, doesn't matter, and you want it to be player this time. So usage, I want it to be first come first serve because I don't want the players to be able to have the same unit. And visibility, I want them all to be able to play it, to see it, and access all players. Uh, so now the values, let's say I want them to pick from a marine. You can do this, pick a marine. Then I can make another one, say stalker, and do pick a stalker. Maybe uh, do a zealot. Uh, pick a zealot. And one more. Uh, do reaper. Pick a reaper. Okay, so now you have those. And once again, you can go to defaults and pick from the players. Say, player one, I want the default to be marine, just so someone automatically has something. But no, I'm not going to do that for this. You can if you want, because if I do this, then it will be confusing, because since it's first come, first serve, all the things will be locked, and it will be confusing. So usually if you have first come, first serve, you want to have just a none. So, I'm going to push OK. Um, actually, I have to have a default, so I'm just going to put these on there. Uh, I guess I could put them all at Marine. Just in case. Actually, no, you can't do that because that will cause problems. So, I'll just set the defaults to this and make it unlocked so they can just deal with it in game. So now how you reference these is you go to the triggers and I don't need any of this so I'll delete these. You want to make an if statement and you want to go to comparison and on this left bracket here or parentheses. You want to do attribute and first I'm going to do the difficulty. So if the you want to go to value and uh, you can do difficulty if you want to. So if that is uh, the one you have to go to difficulty again, and then you pick the uh, things that you made. So let's say if they picked easy, then you could set a, uh, you can make a variable to count the number of votes for easy, and then you can pick it that way. Otherwise, you could do it your own way. So that's how you reference the game mode. So now if I want to reference the other one, I can click on this left uh, parentheses again and go to player value instead of game value. So on attribute value, you want to again go to the unit that I made before for player, whichever player you want to pick. And instead of this, you want to go to unit again. And if they picked marine, let's say they picked marine then you can go and create a unit facing angle so I'll say create marine for uh, 
or player one at, and this is why I need the point at a random point, and this facing doesn't really matter for me, and the options don't really matter for this map. And that's how you reference it. So, now if uh, you ever need any options in your game, you can use these things, and there you go. Thank you for watching.